This is a relative frequency map of Y-DNA haplogroup J2B Z2432. Ancient samples are found in chronological order at Shar Ish Suchte, Helmand culture, in the early third millennium, the Sapali culture, a southern Uzbek variant of the late Bronze Age Namazga 6 complex, in the Swat Valley of Pakistan in the early first millennium, and in samples considered to belong to the Medes tribe around 300 BCE at Marsin Chal in Semnan province, Iran. While this haplogroup is nowadays found at a much higher rate among South Asians, it is not likely to have originated there. The bulk of South Asian J2B Z2432 are represented by a single 7,700 year old line that is several branches down. I wanted to give a shout out to Bernardo Alvino de Sousa, who is positive for this haplogroup. And back in 2020, he sent me his book. Okay, The Last Prabhu, A Hunt for Roots, DNA, Ancient Documents, and Migration in Goa. And he gave me this inscription. For Hunter, thank you for your support and insightful contributions to my migration story. All best wishes, Bernardo, January 2020. This is not an advertisement for that book, but he mentioned me. He dropped my name in his book, and I thought, well, that's a nice personal touch for me to give a shout out to him and say congratulations on your book. Back in 2019, I argued that the likely reason for the successful migration of this line to South Asia was that they were part of the population that introduced farming to South Asia from further west. While we still lack the ancient samples from South Asia to prove this, this theory still holds true due to the circumstantial evidence. A line of J2B, which is otherwise scarcely found in South Asia, about as old as the introduction of agriculture to South Asia, is found almost exclusively in South Asia. Given that Mergar is one of the earliest known sites in South Asia showing evidence of farming and herding, I think this may be the route that this particular line of J2B Z2432 took to introduce agriculture to South Asia. Or rather, it's the route that they took as they introduced agriculture to South Asia, because I don't believe anybody back then would have predicted the future, knew exactly what was on the other side, and just how successful their offspring would be. Now I'm going to read a little about the Helmand culture. This is the culture in which our oldest J2BZ2432 ancient sample was found in Shari Sukhte. The Helmand culture is a Bronze Age culture that flourished mainly in the middle and lower valley of the Helmand River in southern Afghanistan and eastern Iran, predominantly in the third millennium BCE. The people of the Helmand culture lived partly in cities with temples and palaces, providing evidence for a complex and advanced social structure. The main cities so far known are Shari Sukhte in modern Iran and Mundigak, Afghanistan. Research on the finds from both places showed that these cities shared the same culture. These are the earliest discovered cities in this part of the world, although the village Mergar, further to the southeast, is considerably older. It is possible that the Helmand culture once formed one ancient state. The pottery of the Helmand civilization is colorfully painted with mainly geometrical patterns depicting plants and animals. Bronze was known. In Shar i Sukhte were found texts in Elamite language providing evidence with connections to the west of Iran. There are also a few connections with the Indus Valley civilization, but it seems that the Helmand civilization existed earlier and did not have significant chronological overlap with the cities in the Indus Valley. According to the prevailing Indo-Aryan migration theory, Indo-Aryans split from the Proto-Indo-Iranian culture in Central Asia in the early to mid-2nd millennium BCE and migrated southwards to the Bactria Margiana Archaeological Complex, BMAC. Indo-Aryans borrowed some distinctive religious beliefs from BMAC and then migrated to Syria and into the Punjab. I also recently read about an alternative theory positing that the Indo-Iranian languages may have originally been spoken by the settled populations between Iran and South Central Asia. In that case, the Indo-Iranian languages were spread by steppe herders after they had assimilated from the sedentary South Central Asians. 
The introduction of Indo-Aryan languages to the Punjab and onward may have then replaced an unknown Indo-European language that had been introduced by the first farmers of South Asia that originally came from the same direction. Regardless of which of these theories is true, J2B-Z2432 gets to have its cake and eat it too, because it looks like it was present in both of those migrations. J2B-Y28235 is the child line of J2B-Z2432 that did not introduce agriculture to South Asia. Though one of its lines does appear to have migrated there much later, sometime between 1800 and 1300 BCE, so likely with the Indo-Aryans from BMAC. All J2B-Y28235 descend from one man who lived about 7,200 years ago. So far, this line has only been found in one set of ancient samples, and those are the Medes from Marsin Chal, Semnan Province, Iran. You can see on the Y full Y tree that the descendants trace their male line ancestors to all over the Near East and even to China and South Asia. So while one line of this that migrated to South Asia likely did so from the BMAC in South Central Asia, the most recent common ancestor of J2B Y28235 itself may have been living anywhere between Iran and South Central Asia. By the way, you can find research articles, maps, and videos created by me and other researchers by going to hras.yseek.net, typing in the subclade you're interested in, and click the magnifying glass, and then you will see articles that are relevant for your subclade. The most relevant ones uh, will be listed at the top. If there's no up-to-date research on your haplogroup, then join my Patreon community, and for $8 a month, you can vote on which topic I should do a post or video on.